Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about how to create a new way for your teams or your users to be able to interact with Salesforce quickly, utilizing the bottom of their screen. And what comes up is a utility toolbar. So let's dive straight into it. How do we get this toolbar there? So we're going to head over to my setup page. So clicking on our cog icon, clicking setup. Once in setup, I'm going to use the quick find to search for our app and click on App Manager. Once you're in App Manager, we're just gonna have to find the app that we wanna add our fancy new utility bar to. And I know the one I was just on is our sales, and it's actually our lightning sales. Clicking on the down arrow, and we're gonna edit that. Once in our lightning app builder, we're gonna click on utility items. Now this, as it says, will only show on your desktop. Then we're going to go ahead and click add utility item and the first one we're going to do is actually just going to be something simple as notes so notes is all good we're going to add another one called a list view now you might be familiar with list views already it shows you a whole bunch of records on a particular object i'm going to add this one as open leads we're going to choose the object being lead So we chose object lead and the filter one is actually showing you all the current list views you have in your system. So if there's something there you want to see, but it's not, make sure you've got it there um, already created as a list view to reference in here. So I'm just going to leave it as all open leads. I'm going to change the number of records viewed to five and inline editing means they can edit it whilst they pop it out of the utility bar. Hide list view action bar, which will mean something like um, the buttons like new or update. And the hide the search bar is you won't let them search through the leads. Go ahead and click save. The next one I'm going to do is actually an external link to potentially a help document resource that you have internally, but I'm going to use Salesforce help docs as an example. I'm going to paste the URL directly into that rich text box down the bottom. And I'm actually going to change the fun icon. So I'm going to change it and choose icon and searching through the amazing icons we've got available. I'm actually going to choose this external help doc icon, which is perfect for what we need. Now I've got my other tab open with our sales app that we just amended. You can see there's no utility bar down the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh. And now you can see what pops up is our fun utility items. And let's have a look what they look like. So the Salesforce help docs is an external URL, which you can just click on. And you can have multiple of these URLs going down the page and maybe make it like internal help docs and you can link out to different SharePoints or Google docs. Um, the open leads one is a list view, so you can scroll through what's actually still open on your portfolio. Uh, for a sales rep, you might want to also call out this pop out button, which will pop out their list view for them to potentially use on another screen while they're referencing Salesforce um, as they go down the list. And then finally, our notes one, which is a fun feature to be able to just quickly jump into notes and add something new to a contact that they know they have on the phone with or just received an email from, they can just go ahead and click new. It pops out over here and you're able to type your subject line, type your notes and then add to a record by associating them through the search function. And remember, you can always change the object to associate it to anything within Salesforce. So there we have it. We've utilized our fun new utility bar to make your sales team or your users' lives a bit quicker to find things that they would, would need on a day-to-day -day basis. Thank you for tuning in. This is Mia Pacey on Pace Yourself.